In this video, we are going to be covering what has been requested for a while now, and I've had a backlog of content to record, but people want to see the Octane and people want to see the 4D. So I've been researching, watching YouTube videos, seeing how I could make these videos for you people. And so um, let's just jump right into it. So I downloaded a bunch of Octane bench files, and I'm just gonna showcase one because the only one, um, or not none of them actually launched um, except for this one which was the 2020 1.5 and after i get done with this security thing um which is unique to mac os we can see here that it says that no gpu is found um, so the other ones that were listed there with like 306 4 um, they don't even like launch or install so something's definitely up um, wasn't working but uh, from the app store you could download the octane x bench and from my testing or trying to even render something um, i downloaded some demo files none of them actually open or launch i even tried like downloading the files and open them directly there's just no gpu detected and when i go into settings it doesn't even detect anything so um as always most of you guys are educating me through the comments so if someone can help me figure this out or has any suggestions let me know um, but otherwise i'm just going to move right into the cinema 4d so all these files i will be listing in the comments but i uh, just searched um, from this website and he has a bunch of project files that i was able to download and render and then there is a a separate benchmark besides Cinebench that supposedly tests more things. So I have this Cinema uh, 4D viewpoint playback um, that you guys can do. And so that's one of the first things we're gonna run is this playback. And it's just a simple thing where um, you just click the settings and hit run uh, run benchmark. So actually when I loaded this, I actually forgot how to do that. So I had to search real quick how to do it. Um, but let me skip to just the benchmark and we'll see how that uh, played the playback seems smooth but one thing for this testing is i wanted to get this content out is that there's only one license you could do for a trial so i'm unable to test this against the rtx laptop or even my rtx desktop um, so if anyone just wants to test these files i'm going to pin a comment below and you can just post your settings if, you, if for the for the people who want to see a comparison um, so basically once you select the thing and run the benchmark we get a score of 15 38 and if we go back to the website and compare how those scores perform according to uh, kind of these settings the only one better than this is the 11 900 k i'm not sure if this actually uploads to that website but um that is how this benchmark performed so um kind of you go on this website read all the things about it how it works um, if anyone has comments to refute this testing feel free to leave comments so others can see um, when helping them making their buying decision so I'm just gonna go down the list and for these renders, um, I'll be honest with you guys, I've recorded this and in post, I was thinking about like, man, some of these times are kind of long. And I was thinking like, what was people telling me to do? I checked the comments and uh, one of the things was to do Redshift. So by clicking this picture view, I don't think, I'm pretty sure this doesn't use render because this took forever to load, um, but I'll speed up some of the processes so you can see. Um, but basically I'm just gonna go one by one down the files of what the render times were and and you can see, I guess, from this perspective, if you wanted to just use CPU, um, you know, there is GPU acceleration, but um, this is just the raw results. So I'll speed up the results for you guys and let's take a look at all the results. So nothing really to add during the sped up process, but just that it took some time to render. Um, and, you know, once we look at these results, this particular first test, which are all linked below if anyone wants to test um, themselves, took a minute and two seconds to render. So I'm going to go ahead and load the second file and let's just keep going here, testing how everything goes. So I'll just leave some short plugs. Um, just leave comments below if you guys have any questions or you think my testing methodology is messed up. But basically this um, thing renders with just CPU. Uh, and of course, if you have any questions or want some gaming advice or purchasing advice, feel free to check out the Discord, which is linked in the description below. Um, so this particular one finished at 2.15. Um, which is not a bad time just running on CPU. I do plan to redo this on the G15 when I get the trials license moved over. Um, but yeah, besides that, um, just keeping track. First one was a minute, this one's two minutes. So this next test is just gonna be rendering just the third file that I have. Um, I will say 
you know, some of this progress bar when I was doing this, I was like, oh, it's good, it's loading fast, but then he just kept going and kept going. Um, but got it to get ahead of ourselves. I believe this one finishes around two minutes. Um, and again, uh, if you guys are skipping around, this test is done in CPU, and the end of this video is going to show all the redshift times. Um, and spoiler alert, they're significantly faster. Nothing really to call it here, just an eight minute render, no big deal. Um, but yeah, we'll move forward, um, keep progressing through, basically doing CPU tests, blenders um, on this Cinema 4D does take a while. And of course, after this long thing renders, we'll check a look at the redshift. Uh, but I'll skip ahead for you guys. So you just see the times for CPU compares in case anyone wants to, maybe doesn't have a GPU yet or something is rendering off CPU. So something I want to add is that uh, towards the end of these testings, I realized I wasn't showing any CPU, GPU temperatures. So we busted it out and this was pretty much the same throughout the whole process. As you'll see here, you get around 60C and 1500 RPM when doing intensive tasks. So this one was just specifically uh, for CPU uh, testing. And um, I guess that's something for you guys to consider is, um, you know, this thing stays whisper quiet I'm sure on the RTX and you've seen my other videos, it gets pretty loud. Um, so something for you guys to consider if you want to, uh, you know, purchase this device. So like I mentioned before, uh, when I was thinking about the YouTube comments and people telling me what to do, I was like, oh, Redshift, like how does that play into part? It turns out there's this whole separate Redshift um, dialog box that you could pull up. Uh, it's funny, you can see here in the QuickTime, and if you look at the top of this video, you can see the notch and how the menu works. So it literally creates a space for the notch even in my video recording. Um, but yeah, render times are significantly faster on um, on Redshift. And I would say, you know, for people considering this device, you can see that the Apple M1 Max, the GPU history is being pumped to its fullest. Um, whereas, um, you know, before it shouldn't have been because I think it was just a CPU test. So let's speed up some of these results and just talk about them. We can already see that even from this first test and moving on to the second test that, um, maybe if you do comparison from my, uh, blender test, when that gets support for CPU, um, or GPU acceleration, hopefully coming out in 3.1, uh, you know, the timing difference from when I was doing a CPU versus a GPU may be the same amount of time that uh, we see here from these tests um, because this is just going way, 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 way fast. This one you know, popping in at like uh, about a minute and then moving over to the third file testing. Um, I, you can see here, um, we're just we're just rendering things so fast. It's like, it's just insanely fast. So that's pretty much my take on, or at least showing you guys what the benchmark says. This one went down from 24 minutes, almost down to under two minutes. I'd expect this kind of performance when the blender test happens. Um, so be on the lookout, um, you know, checking Apple, Reddit, or news when Blender support is tested. That will be the next time I do the Blender render test. I might do a shit posting test, <laughs> actually, um, on something funny to do another Blender test. But in the meantime, guys, these have been pretty good performance. Um, so let me know in the comments what you guys think, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.